You ready? Okay. So this is the new Desire uh, S. So you can see a few differences between this and the original Desire. Starting with the build quality. So it's a, a unibody, it's made out of aluminium. You've got a 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash. You've also now got a, a front facing camera. Uh, touch sensitive keys now, because they've taken over the hard keys now. When you go into the handset itself, you can actually uh, access your settings uh, by scrolling down. And also for notifications, they're still there, but you can also see what was running on the handset, which you couldn't do before. When you pinch the screen now, you can actually move the screen anywhere you want to. So those are some of the new features on the handset. If I go into the applications now, you actually see, still see the same apps there running, but you can see they're going like pages. So you'll see the line just there, so they're all separated. When I scoot along to the star now, it'll show you the frequent apps you've been using, so you can have easy and quick access to them. And when you scroll over to here, it'll actually show you the applications that you've actually uh, uh, downloaded. So some of the other new features, you've got ones like, if the phone is on a desk, and it starts to ring, and you're in a meeting, you turn the phone over on its side like that, and it put it on silent. Or if it's in your bag or your pocket, it rings louder. As you pick it up, it goes quieter. Or if you're on a phone call, and you place the phone down, phone down on its face, it goes into loudspeaker automatically. So those are some of the new features. Even on the camera itself, there's a few new features. So when you press magic wands, you have a uh, no effect, you've got distortion, Depth of Fill, which is one of my favourites. Uh, Dots, which is a new one. Oh. Ooh, and that. Oh, sorry, sorry. For a sec. Sorry. Sorry. So, when you look at the internet as well, there's a lot of new features on here compared to the original Desire. So, when you look, watch carefully, on the text and the images, you'll see the pictures are laid at the top and two at the bottom. So if I pinch the screen, you'll see the text resize and fit on the screen. And then you'll see the pictures adjust to the size of the screen as well. And what I can do, if I want to share some information with anyone, I can highlight it, scroll down, and go share. And it gives you that many options, I can share it. If I don't understand the word on here, I can simply hold it down like that and go quick look up and it will check it on Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, translate into another language or go on a dictionary. And those are some of the key features that they've changed with Desire. Okay, yeah, so it's Android uh, 2.3. It's Android, well it's gingerbread, it's on there. Um, it has a one gigahertz processor which is 30% uh, faster than the original Desire uh, and it has 768 RAM which is more or less the same as Desire HD. So it's and, and the screen is a, is a super LCD, so okay. it's very similar to the AMOLED. So it's almost the same um, hardware than uh, HD. It is pretty much, HD, pretty much the same. Uh, it's pretty much the same hardware. What the, the key difference is it's got a 5 megapixel camera compared to 8. It's got one LED flash compared to a dual LED flash as well. Yeah. So and obviously it's uh, 8 megapixel? Uh, 5 megapixel five. on this five. one, yeah. Okay. okay. That's the uh, desire. Um, and um, no date, no... Uh, second quarter is a release. We haven't got a price yet. Depends on the carrier. Yeah, okay.